Welcome to Premath. In this video tutorial, we have got this big circle whose diameter is 80 such that it contains three identical semicircles of different sizes as you can see in this figure. And moreover, these distances A, B, B, C and C, D, they are equal to two units. And now we are going to calculate the area of this blue shaded region. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and label these semicircles. So let me go ahead and label this semicircle as S1. And since this is a semicircle, its identical semicircle is on the other end, I'm going to call this one S1. And its radius is going to be simply 2 plus this is going to be 1. So R1 is going to be 3 units. So thus this semicircle S1 has a radius R1 which is equal to 3 units. And when we combine these two semicircles that is going to give us a full circle C1 with a radius R1 equal to 3 units. Now let's focus on this next semicircle. I'm going to call this one S2. Then this is going to be S2 as well on the other side. And its radius is going to be simply 2 units. So I'm going to call R2 equals to 2 units. So thus our radius R2 turns out to be 2 units. And if we combine these two semicircles, we are going to once again get a complete circle. I am going to call it C2 with the radius R2 equals to 2 units. And finally, let's focus on this small semicircle. I am going to call it S3. And since this is also identical to this S3, I'm going to call this one as 3 as well and its radius is going to be the half of 2 is going to be 1 so therefore its radius r3 is going to be 1 unit as you can see over here and if we combine these two semicircles we are going to get a complete circle c3 with a radius r3 equals to 1. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this blue shaded region. Then we can see that this area is equal to the area of this C1 circle minus the area of this circle C2 and then plus area of circle C3 and we know that C1 and C3 are blue shaded circles whereas this C2 is non shaded. And now we are going to calculate the area of these individual circles C1, C2 and C3. And here's our area of a circle formula. Area equals to pi r square. Area of this thing is going to be a pi r1 square minus this next one is going to be pi r2 square and then plus pi r3 square. And now let's go ahead and factor out pi outside. So if I factor out pi outside, that is going to give us r1 square minus r2 square plus r3 square. And we know our r1 value is 3, r2 is 2, and r 3 is 1. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So our this total blue shaded area is going to be equal to pi times this uh, R1 in our case is 3. So this becomes 3 square minus R2 is 2 square 
and plus r3 in our case is 1 and that is square so that is going to give us pi times 3 square is 9 minus 4 plus 1 and if we simplify this thing our area turns out to be 6 pi so thus the area of this blue shaded region turns out to be 6 pi square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye